Move over, Dwayne Johnson. There's a new beefcake in town. Hi, my name is Ryan Lane, and welcome to my review channel. So for today's movie, I will be reviewing The Iron Claw, written and directed by Sean Durkin, and starring Zach Efron, Jeremy Allen White, Harris Dickinson, and Lily James. So it is the year 1979, and the Von Erich family members are gearing up for uh, great things in life. Uh, Kevin, played by Zac Efron in what has to be his beefiest role since Baywatch, uh, wants to be the world champion of wrestling. Uh, Carrie, played by Jeremy Allen White, is preparing for the discus event at the Olympics in 1980. Hopefully a uh, certain geopolitical conflict won't uh, interfere with that one. Uh, and Mike, played by Stanley Simmons, is aspiring to be a musician. And guiding these young men is their borderline physically slash emotionally abusive father, Fritz, played by Holt McCallney. Over the years, their respective goals will curdle into nightmares as the family is falls victim to the so-called Von Erich family curse, leaving tragedy and heartbreak in its wake. So the ensemble cast is amazing, and their performances, they bounce off of each other so effortlessly. Each member of the Von Erich family gets their own chance to shine, and, and Zac Efron in particular, he is especially entertaining to watch. Like, he is like all in on wrestling, he loves it, but he's not quite the best at expressing himself. He's, he's not an airhead per se, he's just not good with words. You know, like, it'll show during scenes, like when he has to do promos, or when he's in the ring trying to do a smackdown on an opponent. He's not exactly sh Shakespearean in his delivery but again he's intelligent just not very uh verbose i think would probably be the best way to describe him and he at his core he's just a character who wants to protect his, his brothers even if that means protecting them from his father's worst impulses and what i really love about the performances is the cinematography in that the compositions there are as few each scene will be framed in as few shots as possible like the average uh shot length for any given cut is quite long and however it never feels long and it allows each actor to fully you know live in their performance and each actor gets to react in real time and even certain actors get to have their own little mini scene in the background i really enjoyed that about the movie the writing also does a good job of exploring the behind the scenes action of wrestling everything from the staging of fights to how championship belts are more akin to promotions than they are you know actual trophies that you win for you know being good at least not in the sense that we might consider good it it's all about you know whether or not the crowd likes you not over how well you can beat pummel the other guys butt in the ring uh, the screenplay also manages to create a very compelling and non-cliched family dynamic like again uh, with the brothers, you might think of them as all rivals, and while they do bicker with each other and jostle for bathroom time, uh, the, at the end of the day, they clearly have each other's backs, and yet they feel too afraid to confront their uh, controlling father. And the wife, while she's uh, not uh, kind of in control of the family and kind of kowtow goes along with what ever uh, Fritz wants she's no pushover either like at one point you know during the uh uh a dinner scene at Mike's like hey I've got this uh, gig at college university where I'm going to play and she's like nope and and Mike tries to appeal to his dad and the dad's like uh, nope your mother said nope that's that so I I like that dynamic it lends uh you know some very fresh angles at the family it never feels too repetitive or cliched the, f the screenplay also does an amazing job at inducing dread in the audience. Like, just, you know, whether or not a, a character will get hurt and whether or not that or something even worse is lying down the road for them. Because of this, the film does kind of get into a bit of a repetitive cycle near the end. But thankfully, the film's so compelling that I didn't mind this too much. 
And then there's the wrestling matches. Thanks to the cinematography, the editing, and the sound design, each you will understand just how artificial and how brutal these wrestling matches are. Like every time, you know, a character gets slammed down onto the concrete or even the relatively soft but still pretty hard, you know, uh, ring floor, you will understand just why, you know, all the characters are all bruised up near the end and in some cases bleeding. It's like, if you've ever wondered how you can die, you know, being uh, in quote unquote fake wrestling, you will know how after watching this movie. So thanks to having a terrific ensemble cast and confident direction, I will be giving the Iron Claw four and a half out of five stars. Anyway, Thank you for watching. Have a good rest of your day. If you like this review and would like to see more like it, be sure to like and subscribe and leave a comment down below. And for today's comment section prompt of the day, what is your favorite movie about wrestling and why?